Today, we're going to a plant expo with my friends, Kayla Roach and Fadi. Where's Daffy's reptiles over there? We are gonna talk about the coolest parts about going to reptile expos, the rarest stuff that you're gonna see here, and why it is so cool to come to these Canadian reptile expos. Today is Sunday, today is the reptile expo, and let's open the doors right now. Man, I'm so much cooler. You look so cool like that. I think this is your new style. All right. Okay, one sec, one sec. I just wanna say, because I forgot to say this at the expo, one of the most fun things about going to these expos is meeting the most famous people that you'll ever see out in public. Dude, I am such a big fan. Serpa Design, so oh. nice to meet you, man. Oh, yeah. Big great. fan. Like, I really like your uh, terrariums and enclosures, and like, I, I like that you don't do anything with turtles, too. That's my favorite part. Uh -huh. So anyway, I'm just really a big fan of yours. It's great to meet you, Dion, from Reptiliatus. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So it's like, are you Dave Coffin? No. Do I look like I have that much hair? <laughs> Sorry, my hands are crying. Excuse me. I'm a really big fan. I always wanted to meet Emily from Snake Discovery, and this is like the biggest thing ever. So, how is things going at the zoo? Good. Yeah. You know, Ed's doing all the work, and I'm just watching and filming and watching Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles. That's crazy. Super to hide here. Are you looking wild? Can be. Yeah, it's really nice to meet you. Yeah. Really nice to meet you. Anyway. Also, your brother sucks yeah. at boxing. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a really big fan of uh, Jenna Marbles. Yeah. It's so nice to meet you, finally. Yeah. And I was just wondering how your dogs are doing. They're amazing. They're doing good? Yes. And you haven't been really active on YouTube lately, I've noticed? No. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just really nervous. Anyway, it's really nice to meet you. Okay, maybe not the most famous people, but seeing influencers there that you only see at expos mostly, unless you for some reason run into them at a pet shop, which is rare, is really cool. Because even before I was an influencer, I would go to these shows hoping to see people like this. Hey, that's awesome, what's your channel? Uh, Wiggins Wicked Reptiles. Wiggins Wicked Reptiles. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Multiple, but it works. Yeah. Follow your channel, by the way. Do you really? This guy's gonna be famous soon. Like, I'm gonna be recording him. Like, I'm letting you guys know. Because if you really think about it, although we are just people, all of us, right? All people are just people, including the influencers that you watch on the internet, they're kind of like this day and age's version of the presenters on the animal shows I watched when I was a kid. Except we are more accessible. We'll reply to your comments, you can see us in public, we'll make videos to you if you join our Patreon, stuff like that. So that's something that I really like and, and it makes me feel uh, warm and fuzzy inside when people walk up to me and say, hey, you're so-and-so, I watch your channel, whatever. Please go up to the people that you call influencers or the people you watch on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, and say hello. I promise you, 99.9% .9 of us, all of us, I'm gonna say all of us, like that. I don't know a single one of us who doesn't like that. Oh, and let's talk about all the rare stuff that you'll see basically only at expos. I'm here with Billy from Mutation Creation. Billy, there's something about you that you always have the coolest stuff. I try. The coolest stuff, and this has to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. What is this and how do you make this? Okay, this is what we call a dreamsicle. Okay. And um, I would probably bet to say that the name came because of, remember back in the day, I mean, it's probably still around now, mm -hmm. the creamsicle, the right. ice cream. Bright orange, nice white inside. Creamsicle, they call this the dreamsicle. And this is a visual lavender, visual piebald. Combination of two recessive genes. So double recessive and this thing looks like something that you'd wanna <laughs> Eat, eat, yeah. but don't eat. So yeah, don't eat snakes. Don't eat snakes. Yeah, okay. is it slimy? It's not slimy. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not slimy. Can I touch? Yeah. Oh wow, I thought it'd be. Is it so? Is it a poisonous snake? It's not poisonous okay. or venomous. Okay, Billy, I, venomous. I have a question. I, I heard that sometimes your ball python, when you're sleeping, will try to size you up so it can eat you. Is that a thing that happens? Or um, no, not okay. in, to my recognition or uh, to my knowledge. Um, I don't sleep with my, my, my snakes. Oh, well, that's so, your first problem. Except, well, Billy, thank you for showing me your uh, slimy, poisonous snake. That's uh, sizing me up right yeah, now. Yeah, sizing you up to eat right now. Uh, if you're ever looking for an animal to be very intimidating, don't get a guard dog. Get a ball python because they are so intimidating and scary. They are. Yeah, so scary. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> Later, man. Lord a lion, what do you have? 
What's up? So here I got a Pac-Man frog that the morph is actually called mutant. So what makes mutant so mutant to you? I would believe it's more of the transparent look of it. It almost looks like it's an albino type of Pac-Man frog, but it's not. It's actually just a morph called mutant. And you can see underneath, if I get him over here. Oh my god. Right underneath, like you can almost see belly. inside of his stomach. I'm sure you could probably see his heart too. I saw him at the beginning of the expo. I wasn't planning on getting a Pac-Man frog, but now I have a Pac-Man frog. I'm here with Charles from the Critter Box. Charles, tell me about your favorite reptile at this expo. So my favorite reptile at the expo is the Argentine black and white tigre. These guys come from Argentina. They are omnivorous, and if they are tamed down, they make awesome pets. So Charles, would you ever get an Argentine black and white tiger? Uh, probably, but not in the near future. I just don't have the space right now. Hey, that's good. So, if you're going to get an animal, make sure that you can take care of it. Because if you're someone like Charles who doesn't have the space right now and you get one, you're going to be poop out of luck very quickly because these things grow very quick and you're going to need a big, big enclosure. So, get yourself an enclosure at an expo before you get the actual reptile. Thanks, Charles. I want to show you the stuff that I got from the expo. I am known for making purchases that maybe I didn't expect to make that day, but there was an animal that I'd prepare for and then it would be available at the expo. For example, uh, monkey tail skinks and uh, Fiji banded iguanas and Cuban false chameleons, but everything is always set up at home, including my pickups today because my pickups today I picked up at the expo but I didn't purchase them there. I purchased them beforehand and then had them brought to me. Something that you can do for say exhibitors, say that you have ABC Exotics, I don't know. It's funny that I always use that because I think it's a real business, either way. And they have some sort of animal on their website or Instagram and you wanna buy it, but they live three hours from you. But you're both going to an expo, you can pick up there, which is what I did, these guys. These are Dendrobates la fume. So a bright yellow and black Dendrobates tinctorius species. So Dendrobates tinctorius la fume, they're one of the largest tinctorius species getting even bigger than the, say, the blues, right? The azurius, Dendrobates tinctorius azurus. I personally like big frogs and I cannot lie. All you other brothers can't deny when a frog walks up with an itty bitty waist and a with crickets in its face, uh, you get spring tails, I don't know. Regardless, what I'm trying to say is I'm excited about these pickups. I'm very excited that I got the opportunity to have these. I got more animals too, but I mean, also these aren't what I'm talking about, but I got a cleanup crew too, because I have to set up this enclosure here. I did have a bin set up, but I want to make really big enclosures for the next animals that I show you. And I'm going to need some springtails and some isopods for that. Now, these are the powder blue isopods, and these ones aren't really my favorites. I don't think that they're like the coolest looking ones, but they do the job. And at the end of the day, I mean, not every meal has to be delicious. Some of them just have to do the job of fueling you so that you can keep moving. Same thing with isopods. They don't have to be the most beautiful things in the world. They just have to get the job done. And that's what I did with these guys, the powder blues, which I mean, technically are more like a brown color than anything else. One last thing, isopods, just because, uh, I, I mean, some people find them boring. I think they're kind of cool, but these ones here, check's name, Cuberus Marina Orange. They're like bigger orange ones. They're not like the powder oranges. They're much larger than that. And I just think that these are cool because I could put them in a snake enclosure and they'd just be kind of out and about, I think, or at least you'd see them sometimes. I wouldn't put these in a dart frog enclosure because I think they're big enough that dart frogs would think that they are food and I don't want them to be eaten by dart frogs. I want them to eat the poop of animals. And we're making a really big enclosure for, I shouldn't say too much. I'll tell Patreon though, next week. We'll go through the plants pretty quick because this is not a plant channel, but I've always wanted a Philodendron patriciae. Finally, I've got one. I might not be pronouncing it correctly. The reason I like these ones is because they kind of hang more and I'm gonna have You'll see in the enclosure build that we're doing, I think it's important that I have a hangy, which is why I also have, anyway, we'll move on to the next one. We also got an Alocasia Jacklin. This one just looks very jungly, almost like not jungly, but outer spacey. Kind of looks like it comes from like an Avatar movie. I thought it was beautiful and it was only 30 bucks. So usually they're more expensive from what I gather. And these guys grow pretty, pretty big. So I can put them in a bigger enclosure and watch them fill out. And lastly, 
Anthurium, not gonna try to pronounce it. These guys have these crazy leaves. Honestly, I have no idea where I'll put these. I'll have to get a really big enclosure, like even bigger than the 3636 I plan to set up, or I can just have them in my grow tents, in my house, whatever. I think they're beautiful. I love Anthuriums. And lastly, more frogs. Uh, okay, so these ones are some of my favorite species in the entire world. These are Philobotus terribilis. So these are the terrible dart frogs. Now I've got mints upstairs, okay? I love the mints. I think they're beautiful. They're probably my favorite frogs in my collection. But the green on green isn't a standout. And because I'll be making a really cool enclosure, oh yeah, Zoomed is, they gave me a bunch of stuff. So that's coming. We're gonna make a rock wall and waterfall. Anyway, bioactive thing. These guys are gonna go in there. Wow, this one's hopping up a storm. Hoppity, hoppity, boppity. Anyway, these guys are gonna be going in there and I want it to be like more showy. So I'm gonna have really exciting plants in there and they're gonna be green, obviously most plants are. And uh, these guys are gonna have a little bit more contrast than the mint dart frogs that I have now. Oh, and if you don't know, Terribilis, they get freaking huge. And these are the most poisonous vertebrae on the entire planet. Well, in the wild, in captivity, they're harmless. But it sounds cool to say, I'm so badass, bro. I got the most poisonous dart. Anyway, you get the point. That's it. That is the expo for Toronto for now. We're gonna see you again at the one, well, there's a pet expo soon, and also there's another one in May. So if you like videos like this, hit subscribe. I really appreciate you. Hit the like button while you're down there. And as always, a special thanks to the Patreon supporters. You guys are gonna get to see the really cool enclosures we're building much sooner than everybody else. I mean, these guys are gonna be crazy. And now because Zoomed gave me all this stuff to make it, I have to like, I, I can't just have it sit there for a year like I have with my other ones. I just have this bad habit of starting stuff and then not finishing it when it comes to builds. Anyway, for as little as a dollar or more, you can get all that plus discounts on merchant stuff. Because we do videos twice a week, that means that we'll do things next video on Monday or Thursday. It's been a long day. Okay, see you in the next one.